Je laisse donc la place à Maurice Golke, ingénieur logiciel. Now we're going to give the floor to Maurice Golke, is an engineer at Bosch Deepfield Robotics. So I'm speaking English tonight because it's the International Robotics Forum. Um, just, I don't know if you know Deepfield Robotics, but you certainly know Bosch. So Bosch is already very active in uh, robotics. Talking about the human machine interface or uh, smart mobility or uh, the autonomous lawnmower, you must know. Um, what we do as Deep Field Robotics, we're a Bosch startup. That means we're like a speedboat for Bosch, try to go faster and try to develop new markets for, uh, for Bosch. And uh, this is the field we've uh, decided to uh, look into, which is robotics for agriculture. So our motto is to go from the Internet of Fields. So everyone's talking about the Internet of Things. We're talking about the Internet of Fields. Uh, connecting the fields together, making measurements on those fields with connected sensors to the Internet of Plants. So as you can see here, we can look at individual plants and we could uh, picture a robot which will only kill the weeds and not the beets. So very specific uh, weeding targeted at individual plants. So our main activities are, on the one hand, Deep Field Connect, which is the whole Internet of Things um, suite uh, of uh, solutions. Also, we're looking into automated field testing, so using robots to make uh, field trials autonomous, so make measurements on the field, and also into um, weed control, so robots like this one, which could uh, kill weeds uh, on the field. So, what is this robot? I, th I don't know if you know this one. It's the bunny rob. It looks a little bit like uh, the Dino, I would say. Uh, so this is a research product that we're using to develop new types of applications. And if you look at the next slide, you can see that uh, this robot is actually used by many universities with different types of apps. So you can have precision spraying, uh, phenotyping, penetrometer, or a weeding app. So for all different types of application on the fields, you have this kind of robot, the bunny rock. And it's also used extensively uh, in the Flourish project, I don't know if you know it, which is the cooperation of a drone with the bunny rock to do different tasks uh, for agriculture. So as you can see here, the bunny rock in the middle, which is our biggest, most complex robot. Then we have some smaller robots which are more targeted to individual, uh, to specific activities our 4D scan robots for the field trials, and our weed mobile for weeding. So I want to tell you a little bit more about the 4D scan project, which was going on for the last year and a half and more. So the idea is for phenotyping. If you're a seed breeder, so a person who produces seeds, and you want to try new genetics, so try new types of genetic material, and you want to try it on the field to see how it, the plant grows for different types of soils, different types of weather conditions, you have to do a lot of manual counting. So you go in the field, you count the plants, you try to see how big are the plants, and we try to automate this. So this is the robot we've uh, designed, which was used uh, this year with a big uh, seed breeder in Germany for sugar beets. And we have three camera modules, which look at plants, detect the plants, and since we have precise positioning, GPS, we know the exact position of the plant, and when we come back five days later, we can see, does this plant still exist? Did it change? Did it grow? Did it die? And so on, to provide that information to seed breeders. That information is stored uh, on the cloud, and you can have access to that information if you're a seed breeder or if you are a chemical company who's making uh, trials on the field. And here you can see this is actually a screenshot from our deep field cloud. And you can see, for one specific plot, each of those points is a uh, plant. And uh, you can click on each individual plant and see what the plant looks like on different days. <laughs> so that would be the Internet of Fields going to the Internet of Plants. You can see here, for one individual plant, different images on different days. So this is the same plant seen on different days. And you can see how it evolved from one day to another. So now that we have a system that can detect plants and also classify the plants, so this is also the main part we can recognize whether a plant is a sugar beet or a weed. And we just have to close the feedback loop and basically use that information to target the weed specifically. And there we can, uh, we have our prototype, which is the weed mobile, which also does selective weeding. So go over the field, 
recognize which plants it is, which plant you want to kill, and then you target that specific weed. Uh, you could also think of other types of technologies, such as uh, electric weeding or precision spraying, some different things we're looking at uh, at Deep Field Robotics. So thank you. Um, I hope we'll have some more time to talk about this. Thank you.